All right, so we're gonna keep doing some more examples. Here, here we have a water reservoir, okay, and and it goes through this tube or a manometer. And down here we have some mercury. It's in green, so we have water, mercury, and then this is just air. It's just open to the air, okay. And here we see that the height of this mercury that went up here is the same as the height of the mercury that went down here. Okay, and this right here is the height of the water reservoir up to this triangle point. Okay, so we have height of the water and height of the mercury. And you see these two are equal. So this went up a certain amount, this went down a certain amount because the water pushed it, pushed the mercury here down and it pushed that mercury up here the same distance. Okay, and the question the question is asking, find the ratio of the height of the water to the height of the mercury. Okay, so we have H sub W, which is the height of the water, and H sub M, which is the height of the mercury here. Okay, so let's start with, oops, our equation. Delta P is equal to negative gamma delta H, and we also want to note that the specific gravity is the gamma or specific weight of the fluid we're studying over the gamma of water and they give us specific gravity of the mercury is equal to 13.6 okay so let's start let's label let's start somewhere in the air and we'll, we'll come down we'll come down okay now we're changing from air to mercury and air is a fluid so we're changing fluids we'll call that point one and we're we're running through the tube or swimming and here we change from mercury to water so we'll label that point two and we go go up the tube here and here we're changing from water to air we'll call that point point three okay so let's start our fluid or pressure analysis from point um, let's change the camera here. Let's start from 1 to 2. Let's go from point 1 to point 2. And I set my datum here at the mercury. That's like our zero. That's like our starting point. Okay? That's all the datum means. Okay? So the pressure from 1 to 2. Well, let's write our equation. Delta P is equal to negative gamma delta H. So, 1 to 2. This is our final. Number 1 is our initial. So, P2 minus P1 is equal to negative gamma. Gamma of uh, mercury. We'll just leave it as gamma of mercury. Times the final height, which is, it looks like if we start here, it's negative hm, negative hm, so it's negative 2hm, negative 2hm, minus 0, right, because we started at 0, that's our initial height, okay, so pressure of 1 we know is 0, right, the air pressure here is 0, we find out that pressure at point 2 is equal to gamma of mercury times 2hm, the height of mercury. Okay, so we'll just leave that there for now. We'll go on to 2 to 3. So let's do a pressure analysis from 2 to 3. Okay, same thing. We set up our... Actually, I'll do it in a different color. Let's, let's do blue. So the change in pressure is equal to negative gamma delta H of the fluid we're studying. And now it's water. So we'll do pressure of 3, right, from from 2, here's our initial, to the final, 3. So pressure of 3, which is our final, minus pressure of 2, which is our initial, is equal to negative gamma water. It's 9 o'clock. Oh, that was my computer. I guess it's 9 o'clock. Um, times the change in height. Now, here it, it's a little bit tricky. The change in height assuming let's just be careful and keep our datum here it's the final height 
which is this distance from the datum to point 3 and that would be h of water minus h of m gives us this distance right here so write that down height of the water minus height of the mercury minus um, the initial height from our datum our initial height was at 2 so what's the location of 2 it's negative 2 hm right negative 2 hm and here you'll see it turns into a plus so pressure of 3 is 0 why because well it's open to the air it's, it's just 0 and pressure of 2 we found here so we can say minus right minus pressure of 2 which is gamma of mercury times 2 hm is equal to negative gamma of water and then inside this parentheses here we have h of water minus h of mercury plus 2 hm okay and that we can simplify some more 2 hm is um, equal to negative gamma of water times the height of height of water plus the height of mercury all right because that that's just height of mercury and and so the negatives cancel out is equal to gamma of water times h of water plus h of mercury and let, let's divide by gamma of water and and divide by 2 hm so we'll, we'll have this over here and gamma of, gamma of water on this side let's divide that so gamma of mercury over gamma of water is equal to h of water plus h of m over 2 hm right that's just algebra and let's let's do a little side calculation here just really quick let's do that in uh, I like red well, not really but it'll work remember our specific gravity is equal to the fluid over the f over the um, gamma of water now our mercury was given our specific gravity of mercury was given so we can plug that 13.6 here so I have 13.6 is equal to uh, the mercury over water over water okay and what do you notice here this is equal to that so here we can just substitute 13.6 is equal to h of water plus h of m over 2 hm okay I'm gonna simplify this some more I get, I'm going to split this fraction up, h of water over 2hm plus h of m over 2hm. Okay, here the hms cancel out and they give me a 1, so we get 13.6 is equal to h of water over 2h of m plus just 1 half, right? And if we add or subtract 1 half from both sides, we get... Um, 13.1 here 13.1 is equal to h of water over 2 h of m and remember our question was asking what is the ratio of the water the height of the water over the height of the mercury and here we have height of water over height of mercury so we multiply by 2 and we get h of water over h of m is equal to 26.2 and that's our answer